So the installation's covered. We want to move the robot, but right now we can't. We can't because it's not powered on. So let's power on the robot. And by the way, this software is exactly the same as the pendant software. So it's as if it's connected to a real robot. The only differences are that inputs and outputs can't be received from the robot's system. The robot computer essentially is a Linux computer. And this is a, a 32-bit Linux application. So let's let's power it on. And that's uh, normally there's lots of clicks and whatever and activity when the robot's starting. So we'll, we'll start it. So we stand clear of it normally. And here's the image of the robot. We have not got we haven't got any homes set. Uh, right now there is no payload, and that's because we haven't loaded the installation that we want to use. So let's exit that. And now we have a robot. Let's open a installation configuration. This one, I've set it up as if it has the camera and the 2F gripper from uh, from Robotique, which we have installed at uh, RMIT, but you can follow along whether you have this or not. And what this has done is create a, if we go back to, if we go to the installation, uh, a tool center point that is away from the end of the tool flange by this value in the Z direction 164.5, uh, 165.4 millimeters. Uh, we have a payload and its center of gravity. The robot needs to know these things for movements and motions and also for its own feedback when, uh, how, you know, if we set for certain accelerations, it needs to know the masses on the end of its arm. But now we have this tool center point away from the flange. This is the point which is in line with the work in the gripper or the center of the work in the gripper and that's a very very important uh, parameter because essentially the motion we, we we define where we want this to be this tool center point and then the software works out what angles all the joints need to be to get that to this particular position so that's our installation setup if we look at that now in the move, we'll see we can we can we have a, a robot now in the real robot. This mimics the motion of the robot, and this is a pendant view, and the real robot follows this. So if we look at the if we look at a feature, the base, the base um, coordinates, and we're going to move this tool center point, which is called TCP. We can all, we could call it my TCP or whatever, but we're going to move this using these position and orientation arrows, and we can see even in this 2D representation of this 3D object that um, the motion is around the the center point. Now it's pause. Let's 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 uh, let's let's make sure the robot is is on. Why do we get? Uh, that's because the reason why this happened is that we changed the installation. So now it's going to install and now it has the active payload. So this is now ready to go. Uh, <laughs> my vault, let's just start it. Okay, we've all got we've got lights across there. We'll exit that. Now we should be ready to ready to move. So now as I operate the simulator, if I had a real robot, it would be tracking this simulation. Um, now hopefully uh, we, you can tell, essentially, that the t the tool center point, the TCP, this 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 uh, this dot here, is moving towards us now, and that the joints are moving in order to do that motion. And then we have rotation, and this is the nice bit. We see a rotation around, around that, around that tool center point. It becomes fairly clear what's going on. Now the robot potentially can't reach all positions. 
and when that happens it will obviously complain but essentially the real robot we can physically move it to points we can we can put it into a free drive condition or we can actually move the joints by hand to a position that we want it to be in we can also vary the position using the text boxes and this is a touchpad so let's let's make that 500 millimeters now this is the motion it's going to do let's say okay and just like the real robot we now have a we now have a touchpad in order to mo make that motion so we'll now move it to that position so if we press and hold the simulation moves just like the real robot and now it's at the target position and that's it so that's what we want to be we want to finish we want to close this software we close it in the normal way we shut down the robot as if it was a real robot we power it off we haven't changed the program there are installations and programs so we haven't even looked at the programs yet we haven't looked at programming this robot we've just looked at moving it manually and we've just looked at creating a new TCP or or actually sorry loading an installation that has a different TCP a different tool center point to the to the default we can discharge this go the changes and close it and here we are back at the desktop